Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at the demo in AWS Management Console with the AWS Elastic Container Registry, Elastic Container Service and AWS Fargate. This will be a very simple serverless infrastructure that will help us deploy our Node.js application to the AWS cloud. So he, here we have our simplified diagram. I have my Node.js application in a Docker image and we will create an Elastic Container Registry where we will store our image and then we will load this into ECS where we will create a task with AWS Fargate to run our application. This is a serverless infrastructure and after we will create everything, you don't have to manage any servers, just provide your updated code and redeploy it in ECS. I will start in Visual Studio because I have my code here, my Node.js code that is ready to be deployed. It's very simple code with hello world from AWS Fargate and it works through port 80 so we will need to open that in our docker docker file and also in aws my docker file is also ready so we are basically ready to deploy this somewhere we will use aws ecs and ecr what we need to get ready first is ecr so we are going to aws management console for this as a first thing, we go to Elastic Container Registry to create our first repository here. I'm in the Frankfurt region, but it doesn't matter which region you want to use. We will do that by clicking on Get Started. Our repository can be private. It's not necessary to create this repository publicly. I will create my repository so it will be stormy demo and it can be Node.js application. We can scan on push here, we can leave everything else on default and click on create our first repository. And our repository is ready, we can go to our repository name and click on view push commands and if you if you are not already using AWS CLI you will need it for this it's possible to do that by simply going through some AWS documentation which I already gave you in this, the description of this video so you can click on that and go through that and pretty quickly create the AWS CLI login and everything what you need. I will use the first code to log in to my new ECR repository and go to my, go run a new terminal here. We will paste our first code here and run it and our login to ECR was successful and I will go back to AWS console and copy the second code to create my new Docker image with the right name. Okay, so click on that, it will take a couple of seconds and our Docker, Docker image is created. I will go back and copy the third code which will tag our image and click on here and copy the last code and paste it here again and it will push our docker image to my ECR repository. So it can take a couple of seconds or minutes, I will wait till it's done. After a couple of seconds it's pushed to our repository so we can go back to AWS management console and close, close some panels here. We can click on our repository name and we should see our first image here. So it's ready to be deployed on ECS. So we can go to ECS, Elastic Container Service. And the first thing 
what I want to do. I will use today a new ECS experience. So basically a new console for this. I will click on get started with our container reset application. We will click on create cluster. So we will create a new cluster with our name. So it can be again store my T demo node JS app for instance. We can use the default VPC if if you want to use any other settings or anything like that you can. I'm in the Frankfurt region so there are three AZs there. I will use all three, it's not a problem. We will use AWS Fargate serverless and it's it's I think it's a new way and very good way to deploy these applications. It's all serverless. And we will click on create. And our cluster will be deployed after a couple of seconds. You can go back to CloudFormation and check there. Everything what you will create in ECS will be also there in CloudFormation in your region. After a couple of minutes, uh, our cluster is ready. We can go to our cluster and check if it's if it's still provisioning but it's fine we can define our task here this is where we will need our ecr repository so i will click on create new task definition it will be again stormy demo and no js app docker we can write docker here and as you can see, we will need the URI of our ECR repository. So I will open the ECR in a new tab. And it's right here, the URI. It's everything what we will need. Again, we can write like JS app or something like that. And here we have to choose the container port. We are using the simple HTTP protocol for this. If you need any other port mappings, you can just write it here and it will be ready for you. We need just one container because we have only one application. We can click on next and we will use the AWS Fargate serverless. Okay, it's ready. The Linux operation system we can use only two gigabytes of memory, it doesn't matter at this moment. You can choose everything, anything what you will need. If you don't see the task execution role here, you can create a new role. It should be very simple, but I don't know if, if this is ready just for me or it will be for you. We will use the default amount of storage so 20 gigabytes and yes we can monitor our lock in amazon cloudwatch and click on next and there is only a review and we can click on create our first task definition it should take only a couple of seconds or minutes so i will just wait and our task is ready so we can go to our clusters again and to my cluster and we can deploy or we can deploy a service here so we can just run it like this we can use the launch type here and launch type will be fargate and platform service yes we want to use the latest version we can use the service here and the family, which is basically our task and the revision is latest. Service type, we can leave the replica here. And the second thing which need to, def which need to be defined is our security group, because I think that the existing group, we don't know what it will does and we will need to open the AT port for HTTP. So we will create a new security group 
it can be or it can OJS up storm it or something like that. And the description open for fifty for HTTP and we will add new row for HTTP protocol and the source will be anywhere because we want to connect to this container or this repository and plastic container service through the internet. Yes, we want the public IP address and the load balancing here we will leave that for now but I will go back or create a new, new task and and uh, new deployment for this. I will click on deploy and I think there is, yes, we will need some name. So I will just choose something like this, doesn't matter. And we will deploy it. And as you can see again, it's deploying by CloudFormation, so you can always go there and check that. I will just wait here. And our service and tasks are deployed. We can go to tasks and go to my task here. And as you can see, we have a public IP here, which we can use and it should work. And as you can see, our service is working fine on port 80 on our one instance at this moment. So at we will go and create an application load balancer. So we will go back to clusters and to my cluster. And we can delete this service right now. We don't need that anymore. And we will deploy a new service. Again, it will be capacity provider and service. We will choose revision one and the family of these tasks. Okay. And what we want to do, we want to use application load balancer. We will create a new one. This will create a new load balancer so we can use more AWS Fargate instances behind it. We can name it Node.js up. Okay, or something like that. Yes, this will be okay. Yes, we want to create a new listener for port 80. If you are doing another application with some different ports, you can just create a new listener here and check this if it's fine. And yes, we want to create a new target group and it will be our again you know, just um, demo. There is a lot of names here, but at this moment it doesn't matter. Yes, we can check the health of our resources behind it. We can leave that in default. And yes, we can use service auto scaling here. We can use a minimum number of tasks and okay we can use two and maximum number of tasks four policy name will be let's to scale our Fargate instances and the target value of CPU utilization we can leave that on 70% and deploy our new service for this I think we just must be just okay, so we can leave it on one for now. We have something, yes, again, storm in demo and just, just to know what is it and click on deploy. And again, it have to run through cloud formation so it takes a couple of seconds or minutes and our service and tasks are ready after a couple of seconds again we can go back to tasks and as you can see here are my stupid task and here is a new one i will click on that and as you can see here is a public ip again 
if I can try to open it and it should work but we will need the application load balancer IP and we will need to find this in the different tab it will be on services and our service is here and if you look at here you can click and open your load balancer but it is also visible in networking and here is our domain name here so i can open it and as you can see it also works so this is our load balancer and and our application it should be done at this moment we can go back to my presentation Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel or if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.